top 10 places to visit in Paraguay. Paraguay is one of the most charming yet underrated countries on the South American continent. The modest country is blessed with many locations that are still largely unexplored by the outside world. Paraguay is a real wonder hidden from the world's shutterbugs, making it a place well worth travelling to. It is a world within a world because of how beautiful nature is, the scenic locations and more importantly, how many hidden spots there are. Paraguay offers tourists a wide variety of experiences and sights, from the vibrant capital city of Asuncion to the remote and untamed Pantanal wetlands. Number 10. Cacupe. The charming city of Cacupe is situated in Paraguay's central department. The Basilica of Our Lady of Miracles, a stunning cathedral that is regarded as one of the most significant religious sites in Paraguay, is one of Cacupe's major attractions. The annual Our Lady of Miracles celebration, which features customary processions and religious ceremonies, draws thousands of pilgrims from all over South America to Cacupe each December. Cacupe is encircled by stunning natural scenery, such as the Ipacarai Lake and the Cerro Cabajú mountain range. Visitors can enjoy the distinctive flora and fauna of the area while exploring the numerous hiking paths and scenic overlooks in the area. Number 9. San Lorenzo San Lorenzo is a city located in the central department of Paraguay, just a few kilometres away from the capital city of Asuncion. The Plaza de Aguas, an extensive park situated in the centre of the city, is among San Lorenzo's most well-liked attractions. There are multiple recreational options available at the park, including trails for walking, playgrounds, sports fields and picnic spaces. It's a wonderful spot to enjoy a leisurely outdoor day with loved ones. The Catedral di San Lorenzo, a stunning church situated in the heart of San Lorenzo, is another well-liked tourist attraction. The early 20th century cathedral was built with a unique mix of Gothic and Romanesque architectural elements. Number 8. Cerro Cora National Park Beautiful wildlife preserve Cerro Cora National Park is situated in the Amambre Department of Paraguay, South America. Over 5,500 hectares in size, the park is renowned for its breathtaking vistas, diverse wildlife and historical importance. The Cerro Cora Mountain, which soars above sea level by more than 800 metres, is one of the park's major draws. Hikers can ascend the mountain to get a bird's eye perspective of the surrounding area, which includes the nearby Aquidalban River and the Serra Bordocanha mountain range in Brazil. Additionally, rich in heritage is Serra Cora National Park, the last fight of the Paraguayan War fought in 1870 between Paraguay and the Allied forces took place here. Number 7. Luque. In the South American country of Paraguay's central department is the settlement of Luque. The Iglesia de la Virgen Rosario, a stunning church built in colonial style in the 18th century, is one of Luque's top attractions. The church, a popular location for both tourists and religious pilgrims, is a testament to the city's rich history and architecture. Pottery, weaving and embroidery are just a few of the traditional handicrafts that are well known in Luque. The city's markets offer a wide variety of stores and stalls where tourists can browse and buy genuine Paraguayan crafts and souvenirs. The Museo de Luque is a tiny but informative museum that highlights the history and culture of the city and is a well-liked attraction in Luque. Visitors can discover more about the Guayan natives, the Spanish conquest and the nation's struggle for independence. Number 6. Villa Rica. The southern city of Villa Rica is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty and extensive cultural history. Monuments of national champions can be found throughout the town, as well as some of the most significant cultural institutions and customs. Consider the Maestro Fermin Lopez Museum in the centre of the city, which displays stockpiles of vintage weapons and munitions from the Chaco War alongside ancient Indian weapons. 
Then there are the boisterous Easter celebrations, which erupt on the squares and in the spaces in between the Franciscan Church's stunning Spanish-style towers, an incredibly attractive remnant of the colonial period, to put it mildly. Number five, Adigua. Little Lakeside Aragua is a great place to go to escape the heat and energy of Paraguay's only real metropolis. It is only a short drive from the heart of Asuncion's bustling downtown streets and is now almost contiguous with the capital thanks to the endless expansion of its outer suburbs. Visitors will find a charming maze of cobbled streets and alleys where the remaining colonial Spanish facades still stand tall. All of this is situated near the waters of Ipacarai Lake, where ferries and sailboats bound for San Bernardino are constantly floating on its crystal clear waters. The Koi and Chiruri Hills tower just outside the city and have intriguing hexagonal geological formations. Number 4. Encarnacion the so-called Pearl of the South resides carefree on the banks of the Paraná River and attracts a large number of people from the capital in the summer with a guarantee of the most fashionable boardwalk boulevard in the nation. The finest sands are at the end of Curupaiti. They are well kept, dotted with bikini-clad fashionistas and perfect for sunbathing. Jet skis can be seen buzzing around the meanders of Paraná beneath the shimmering high-rises of the city's brand new residential neighbourhoods across the sea. Water sports are also very popular. When you're done with unwinding, make sure to visit the UNESCO-certified Jesuit remains on the town's outskirts for a culture fix. Number 3. Ciudad del Este The city of Ciudad del Este locates in eastern Paraguay close to the borders with Brazil and Argentina. The markets of Ciudad del Este extend along the Paraná River like a Moroccan bazaar, with the noises of Middle Eastern hagglers and Taiwanese electronics vendors echoing between the endless roads of blinking electronics and designer clothing. Yes sir, there is a good reason why this openly recognised supermarket of the Americas is the hub of the Paraguayan black market. Every day, thousands of Brazilians travel to the town to shop at the Camila Risalde Emporia, but most tourists head straight for the Itapu Dam, a further major source of revenue for the country of Paraguay. Number 2. Saltos del Monde A must-see is the Saltos del Monde, which can be found in the Presidente Franco district of the Alto Paraná department. Here, one can see a waterfall that is 40 metres tall and 120 metres broad. The city is a well-known trekking location in addition to having some sites. The primary draw in this area is Saltos del Monde, a breathtaking 40 metre waterfall and a branch of the Paraná River. You might want to take some time to relax since it is a difficult trek up the mountain. If you've never been to the area, you should go on a picnic. You can hike up the mountain and see the waterfalls on a beautiful day. Three distinct waterfalls, including an 80-metre waterfall, can be found at the Saltos del Monde. If you're lucky, you might be able to locate somewhere to take a dip in one of them. Another activity to do in the area is hiking. In contrast to Aguazo Falls, Saltos del Monde is much less well known, but still has a beautiful landscape. Number one. Asuncion. The vibrant political, economic and cultural centre of contemporary Paraguay is Asuncion, a strange city with over two million people. The downtown area is surrounded by the eastern banks of the Paraguay River, which meanders westward along the border with Argentina. Visitors can explore one of the oldest cities in the Americas that has been inhabited constantly here, despite popular belief. Asuncion, which was established by the conquistadors, served as the headquarters for the Spanish expeditions that went westward to the untamed regions of Peru and Patagonia. Today, the town has been enhanced with the magnificent National Pantheon of the Heroes and exciting entertainment along the growing Paseo Camalitas.